to my audience out there. What do y'all think happened to him? What do you think happened to him? Stay tuned. Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. To my kinfolk out there, I know a lot of us, some of us, we like designer items, okay? The Balenciaga, the Prada, the Louis Vuitton. Sometimes risking your freedom isn't worth material items. Some of our kinfolk never ever learn you're risking your freedom to get designer items and designer clothing you're possibly risking your life to get designer items and when it's all said and done some of it's not worth it some people out here our kinfolk they don't even have an emergency fund set up in case something happens but they have money to spend on designer items such as Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, but they're living in the worst conditions ever. Now, I want to talk about this young man here, okay? I'm going to read this article to y'all. Let me know what you think. But at the end, it isn't worth the, the drama that you're going to have after you commit acts like this. Man arrested after attempting to steal Balenciaga shoes, holding woman at gunpoint. An Oklahoma man is in custody after being accused of trying to steal a pair of Balenciaga shoes. Oklahoma City Police reported the victim was trying to sell her red and silver Balenciaga shoes on offer up and was contacted and was contacted by someone with username Turbo who was later identified as Tabor Carter, the guy you see right here. The victim reported she and Carter agreed to meet at the 7-Eleven, but Carter never showed up. First things first to anyone out there that's selling something expensive. Always meet at like a real area where you feel real, real comfortable at, okay? I would never in my life meet somebody at a bodega to sell them an item. Meet somebody at a 7-Eleven to sell them an item. I'm not doing that. I'm going to meet whomever that person is I'm selling something to in a populated area. Me personally, I might meet you at a police station so that I can feel extra safe. If I'm selling you something expensive and I'm worried that I possibly could get robbed, I'm going to meet you at a police station. If you can't meet me at a police station to exchange items, because you got you to gotta understand, it's only an exchange. That's it. I'm, I'm selling you some shoes. You're giving me the money for the shoes that I'm selling you. Especially when they're an expensive pair of shoes like Balenciaga. And quick PSA, I don't know why people are still dealing with Balenciaga after y'all heard about the situation that happened with the kids. And how kids and young children were being exploited through Balenciaga. But some people, they never learn. And if y'all are going to keep, um, if you're going to keep on helping out and buying these expensive items from people like Balenciaga who exploits kids, you are no better than them. You are no better than them at all. Now, let's get back to this article. The victim reported she and Carter agreed to meet at a 7-Eleven but Carter never showed up. The victim and her mother then went to a T-Mobile on Northwest Expressway where Carter messaged the victim and asked where she was. Now, he's giving you a different location than the 7-Eleven. Right then and there, you should have called that whole transaction off. You should have called that whole transaction off. Something, something is definitely fishy 
when somebody gives you one location or y'all agree to meet up at one location, then they ask where you're at because they're at an another location, making it seems as if y'all agreed to meet at a different location when he knew that y'all were supposed to meet at the 7-Eleven. Like, like I'm going to reinstate right now, I wouldn't have went to a 7-Eleven anyway. But let's keep going. When Carter mentioned the victim and asked where she was, police said Carter met the victim at T-Mobile. And when the victim walk up, walked up to Carter's car, he pulled out a black Glock-like pistol and pointed it at the victim's head. Now imagine this. You're willing to take somebody off of this earth, risk going to prison and having a criminal record because you want some Balenciaga shoes. Let that, let, let that sink in. Our young men out here are willing to risk their lives and go have long prison sentences over some Balenciaga shoes. Balenciaga cares nothing about you. Okay? People are putting their freedom and their life on the line for designer items all the time. And I want to put this message this message out here to my young men to tell you, if you can't afford it on your own, stop trying to rob somebody who worked hard and they don't want the item no more and they're trying to sell it to you for a good price. If you can't afford it, you don't need it. That's my motto. If you absolutely can't afford it, and I mean as if if you're living check to check, you can't afford Balenciaga shoes. If you can't afford to put groceries in the house for you and your children, you can't afford designer items. But some people would rather look good than pay their bills. It's sad where we are at as a people. You would rather look good other, rather than pay your bills and have an emergency fund set up. One thing I tell all my family members, friends, anybody I know, I always tell them to invest. Always invest. And if you don't know how to invest real well, look at what type of certificate of deposit your bank has. And make sure you invest into at least one of those every six months if you can or every year. You invested in a certificate of deposit of at least $500 every five hundred. Um, every six months to a year, that will help you out. It will help your money grow. But some people can't even have discipline enough to invest money. But they have more than enough discipline to save up money to buy a pair of Balenciaga shoes or something they know they can't afford, but they'll break bread off to these companies that care nothing about you. They care nothing about you. You break bread off to them every month to look good. To look good. It's sad, man. Oh, man. The victim indicated she was there to sell shoes to the suspect. During, oh, my bad. I'm jumping ahead of myself. The victim said she gave him the shoe, but was able to reach into the car and take, uh, take one shoe back as Carter was driving away. Carter turned back to demand the other shoe, but the victim told him, She'd already locked it inside her car, according to the police report. He drove off but was arrested after a, per, after a police pursuit. Police warn anyone who was meeting up to sell items to do it in a public place with lots of cameras, like a local police station. And this is something that you would think people would know by now. This is honestly something you would think that people would know by now. And to all the young girls out there, if you're meeting up with someone to sell something, especially an expensive item, make sure you meet them in a well-lit place, a place that has a lot of people around. And your best bet is if you can, do it at a police station. Matter of fact, you can. It's your item you're selling. So if y'all, if you're not gonna, if that person doesn't isn't willing to meet you at a police station, that that person is up to no good. They're up to no good. But all in all, our people in general, we have to stop. We have to stop investing all this time and energy into saving up money to buy these expensive items. 
You're making these people rich while you're a hyper consumer. You're a hyper consumer. These companies are getting rich while you're staying poor. How is that helping you out? I just don't understand that. I don't care. I don't have a care in the world for designer items. And I can afford any designer item I want, but I have no care in the world for designer items. I don't see the point of it. I don't see the point of it. Like I'm a hyper investor. The hell would be in a hyper consumer. I want to, if it can't make me put it like this, if what I'm buying expensive can't make me any money, I don't want it. I absolutely don't want it. If it's not making me any money or any profit, I absolutely don't want it. I'm not out here shopping every month. I'm barely shopping every year. What I got, if it's good, it's good. Some people have three or four pairs of the same jeans. 10, 20 pairs of sneakers a year. For what? Just to go out to the nightclub and impress somebody else? And everybody in that club is broke in reality, living check to check? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.